war with Japan is still raging, with American casualties mounting as they fight across the Pacific, island to island. The American assault on Iwo Jima sees some of the bloodiest fighting of the war. The island was defended by thousands of Japs, every one of whom was prepared to die for his emperor. The Japanese defenders refuse any thought of surrender. And for the first time, Marines lose more men killed and wounded than the Japanese. U.S. commanders now predict that an invasion of Japan could cost more than a million Allied casualties. President Truman decides that the atomic bomb should be dropped on a Japanese city as soon as it is ready. But there's still no bomb. In the empty desert of New Mexico, at a site called Trinity, populated only by rattlesnakes and tarantulas, scientists and construction teams prepare for the first ever test of an atomic bomb. There were two versions of the bomb. There was the little boy and the fat man. Now the little boy is actually the bomb that was dropped on Hiroshima. And the fat man is the bomb that was dropped on Nagasaki. Scientists are confident that the uranium-fueled little boy will work. But now they need to test the plutonium-fueled fat man. The reason for running the test on the fat man was that plutonium was a brand new element that had never been known before. But there is still barely enough plutonium in the world to fuel the first bomb. And even after two years of intensive work, no one is sure what might happen. Jack Abbey is a photographer with the Manhattan Project. It was a lot of cross fingers and <laughs> there was not all that confidence. They uh, actually started a bet. And well, the bet went all the way from zero failure, complete failure, uh, to setting the universe on fire. Just four days before the test, the plutonium core of the bomb, the size of an orange, arrives from the Los Alamos laboratories on the back seat of an army sedan. A scientist describes it as warm, like a live rabbit. As the moment to detonate the bomb approaches, set for 4.30 a.m. on July 16, 1945, scientist Lily Hornig is watching for the explosion from a distant mountain top. As the minutes tick by, she's sure the bomb is a dud, and she heads for her car. And as I put out my hand for the ignition key, this thing went off in front of me. It was really an incredible sight. I don't know what any of us might have expected. The heavens were boiling. Jack Abbey gets the only color photo of the first atomic explosion. In just 21 days, an atomic bomb will fall on Hiroshima. <laughs> 